Hey guys, so this is that second part of adding notes to your notebook. Uh, that first part was all about creating your digital notebook using Canva, Kami, and Google Classroom. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now uh, how to create those notes uh, before we get into our third part of creating the digital file for your students. Uh, so when you create your notes, there's gonna be more than one way to do this. And I know that you guys are gonna explore and find other creative ways to do them. Uh, I'm gonna show two different versions. One's gonna be using Photoshop and the other one is Google Docs. Uh, so the first one is going to be with Photoshop. Um, Photoshop is going to be a little bit easy to do once you figure it out, but it is going to require the knowledge of how to use Photoshop um, and also access to Photoshop itself. So you'll see that I went ahead and created my notes early. Uh, I have this. Um, the reason why you want to use Photoshop or the converter I'm going to show you later is because it is going to create that transparent background. It's going to help make annotating a little bit easier for your students and kind of help make it just more of those fill in the blank kind of creative flow to it. Uh, so now that I have my notes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PNG file. So let's go ahead and go to notes somewhere where I can pull it up later. This is going to be my PNG file and I have my student notes example and I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so now that I have it saved, I do want to upload it into my Google Drive so that later I can create a link. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and access my Google Drive. I have a folder ready to go. And now that I'm in the folder, I want to go ahead and upload that file. Like I said, we're going to need to do this. Uh, so then that way I can go ahead and um, create that link for it later. Okay, so I have my notes added into my Google Drive. Okay, the second way that we're going to do this is going to take a little bit longer, uh, but it is easy to use because everyone has access to Google Docs. And uh, for the most part, especially since we switched digital learning, I feel that a lot of teachers are more comfortable using something like Google Docs than they are with something like Photoshop. Uh, so we'll go ahead and access Google Docs just like with my Photoshop example, you'll see that I do have a copy already created and ready to go. When I have my notes created, I do want to save it as a PDF uh, so that I can convert it into a PNG. So let's go ahead and save that as a PDF. I'm gonna save it here to my desktop so that I can access it. The second, st second way to do it with Google Docs is gonna be a little bit more time consuming, but like I said, it's gonna be a little bit easier to access and navigate. So you'll see that I have it here on my desktop. And once I have it on my desktop, I do wanna convert it into a PNG file. And that's just because that PNG is going to be an image that students can easily upload and drag and drop. And plus, it's going to allow us to have that transparent feel to it. So I need to convert that PDF into a PNG. I found this website, pdf to pngcom It is fairly simple to use. I can simply drag it from my desktop and add it into its website. It will convert it for me. And then I can download it for ease of access. I have already downloaded it. So you'll see that I have the image, the PNG file, already ready to go. And just like we did with our Photoshop file, we do want to add it into our Google Drive so that we can create that link. Okay, so you'll see I have here in my Google Drive, I have my Photoshop example. There we go, and my example that I created using Google Docs and a converter. In the third part, I'll show you how to create that link for students to access it and to add it to their digital notebook.